Welcome for this lesson. We're going to study equations and gradients of straight lines. In number 18, we are told that uh, a straight line L1 passes through the points P, 5, negative 2, and Q, negative 3, 4. Find the equation of L1 in the form AX plus BY equals to C, where A, B, and C are integers. Remember to subscribe and to share this link with friends we can start by calculating m1 gradient for line one gradient is given by change in y out of change in x so change in y will be 4 minus negative 2 divided by change in x negative 3 minus 5 yes so this is going to be positive 6 out of negative 8 Generally, we're going to have a negative 3 out of 4 when we simplify. So that is the gradient for line 1. For us to get the equation now, we should express this gradient in terms of one of the coordinates and another coordinate, x, y. That means now we take change in y. So y minus 4 divided by change in x, x minus negative 3 yes that way so we will have negative 3 over 4 equivalent to y minus 4 out of x plus 3 so now we can cross multiply whereby we can start with negative 3 x minus 9 equals to because negative 3 is multiplying this part <clears throat> then we go to the next whereby 4 multiplies now to get 4y, then uh, this becomes a negative 16. Now we can rearrange our equation to the format which has been uh, stated here. We start with the term with x, so the term with x can come to this side, such that we have 3x, then we find 4y, the same side. So now when constants go to one side, we will have 16 minus 9 giving us a 7, 16 minus 9, giving us 7. So that is the equation in the stated format. A line L2 passes through a point R03 and is perpendicular to L1. Find the equation of L2 in the form y equals to mx plus c. What we should know is that uh, for perpendicular lines, gradient 1 times gradient 2 should give us a negative one and in this case gradient one is negative three quarters that means gradient two which when multiplied by the first gradient should give us negative one is the reciprocal of the first gradient and with the opposite sign if the first one was a negative now this one is the reciprocal with the opposite sign which is a positive so now we can go to the finding of the equation whereby we need four over three equals to change in y y minus 3 over change in x x minus 0 so now we're going to have a, a cross multiplication 3y minus 9 being equal to 4x and now when we go to the format here then we're going to talk of 3y being equal to 4x less 9 we can divide through by 3 to have 4 out of 3x minus 9 over 3 giving us a negative 3 so this is again the second equation determine in part 2 the point of intersection between l1 and l2 the point of intersection is only determined by solving the two equations simultaneously so we have equation 1 here 3x plus 4y equals to 7. Then the other one is y equals to 4 out of 3x minus 3. What we can conclude here is that uh, in the second equation, y has been expressed. So we can substitute y in the first equation such that the first equation is 3x plus 4 now instead of y 
can have 4 out of 3x minus 3. This is equivalent to 7. 3x plus 16 over 3x minus 12 equals to 7. Now we can group such that uh, we have 3 plus 16 over 3, giving us 8 and a third x. equals to uh, 7 plus 12 is gives us a 19 suppose yeah so the value of x is going to be 19 divided by 8 and a third and this becomes 2 and 7 out of 25 now we can talk about the value of y which is given by 4 out of 3 the value of x Then minus three. So we're going to have a two and seven over twenty-five multiplied by four over three. Then we subtract three. This is going to be one out of twenty-five. Therefore the coordinate is two, seven over twenty-five. 1 out of 25. That is the coordinate of the intersection for the two lines. In part C, another line L3 is parallel to L1 and passes through R. Find the x intercept of L3. So, for us to get first of all the equation of L3, we should know that the gradient 3 for this line is equal to gradient 1. For two parallel lines, their gradient is the same. So, negative 3 quarters. Now, negative three quarters, we are also given more information that uh, the line passes through R and the coordinates of R are 0, 3. Therefore, change in Y be Y minus 3. Change in X, X minus 0. Can cross multiply such that uh, we got 4Y minus 12 equivalent to negative 3X. So we should also know that uh, at the x-intercept, the value of y is 0. Therefore, you can say that uh, x is equivalent to 4. Therefore, the x-intercept of the third line is 4. If we were to write it as a coordinate, then it could have been 0.4 zero. Thank you for following. Subscribe and share.